Our immune system is made up of a network of cells and tissues that work together to protect us from germs and foreign particles. It recognises our own cells, but tries to get rid of anything it doesn't recognise. Each of our cells carries a set of identity tags called antigens that are unique to us. Their role is to stop the immune system from attacking our own body. Anything or anyone else carries a different set of antigens, which the immune system removes before it can cause harm. Different types of white blood cells help make up the immune system. They work together to seek out and destroy anything that is foreign. Neutrophils and macrophages respond very quickly to the first signs of bacteria and viruses by detecting the chemical signals they produce. They remove them by engulfing and breaking them down in a process known as phagocytosis. Other white blood cells, called plasma cells, recognize foreign antigens and react by producing specialized proteins called antibodies. These antibodies lock onto the foreign antigen, flagging it up for destruction by other immune cells. Plasma cells also play an important role in building our immunological memory. This means they remember the same foreign antigen the next time it invades the body. They respond by producing large amounts of the same antibody quickly. Once the invading organism has been removed, chemical signals are released to dampen down the immune response. The immune system also tracks for changes in our body and removes any cells that are abnormal. Cancer cells are abnormal and may carry antigens that would normally be recognized as foreign. However, they also have other properties which stops them from being recognized and destroyed. As our understanding of the immune system has improved, new treatments are being developed which use the immune system to recognize and destroy the myeloma cells. This is known as immunotherapy. Some make use of man-made antibodies called monoclonal antibodies which recognize antigens unique to myeloma cells. Once flagged, other immune cells can quickly destroy them. Other monoclonal antibodies are made with toxins attached to them. When they lock onto the antigen, the toxin is released, killing the myeloma cell without needing to recruit other immune cells. Cancer vaccines are also being tested. This involves an injection of a small amount of man-made myeloma antigen, which allows the plasma cells to produce antibodies that specifically recognize and destroy the myeloma cells. Other treatments being developed include some which block the signals that normally dampen the immune response, as well as T-cell therapy and virotherapy, both of which are designed to recognize and destroy myeloma cells more effectively. Overall, immunotherapy shows great promise as a treatment for myeloma, offering long-term responses with few side effects.